guys, it's Belinda. Today I'm going to show you how to use Dynamo Player. As you can probably tell from all the videos I've made on Dynamo for Revit, I'm a big fan of the plugin. I have some C Sharp programming background and I've used Grasshopper for Rhino before, so picking up Dynamo for Revit was pretty easy for me. I understand the concept of nodes and even backend programming, but I know that Dynamo can be pretty intimidating to a lot of people without that programming knowledge. Enter Dynamo Player. It's a simpler way to run Dynamo scripts in Revit. Starting with 2018, Autodesk has loaded a couple of default scripts into your Dynamo Player just to get you started. For example, one of the sample scripts that's loaded into your Revit 2018 Dynamo Player is updating sheet list names from lowercase to uppercase. You can see that right at the bottom here. When I hit the player, the run button, you can see that all my sheet names in the project browser were changed from lowercase to uppercase. Another pretty useful script that's loaded in your Dynamo player folder is adding a single or multiple levels above a selected level. I'm gonna select the Imperial version of this script since my project is not in metric. When I run it, it's going to ask me to select a particular level and I'm going to select level two. I want to create two new levels above this level and I want them to be two feet apart. You can see that level five was created at 18 feet and level six was created at 20 feet. There are several other sample scripts loaded in your Dynamo player folder, so feel free to check those out too. Now it's not possible to convert all your Dynamo scripts into a Dynamo player format because of the nature of inputs, but I'm gonna show you how to convert a couple of scripts that I made in previous YouTube videos. This seems to be a pretty popular script that I made. It's how to create outlines around all your interior elevations using Dynamo. It's a very simple script just made up of four nodes, but remember you need the rhythm package to run this script. This screenshot really shows you how much real estate Dynamo occupies on your screen versus the really small Dynamo player window. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is click on the little folder icon in Dynamo player with an arrow on it. And that's gonna take me to the folder where all the scripts are saved. I'm then gonna save this elevation outline script in that same folder. When I restart Dynamo, you can see the elevation outline script has been added to this. However, it doesn't do anything when I run it. And that's because I need to make a slight modification to the script. I have to right click on select a sheet and make that an input and then do the same with select a number. When I run the script again, it asks me to select a, an integer for the thickness of the line weight and also to select a sheet where all the elevations are placed. And now you can see the script worked. I'm going to bump up the line weight a little bit to make it a little more obvious. Finally, I'm going to run a filled region script with Dynamo Player, and I also made a separate video on this script if you'd like to check it out. And remember, you need the clockwork package in order to run this. When I hit a run button, it asks me to select one or several rooms on my floor plan, and when I'm done, I'm gonna hit the finish button. You can see that black filled regions were created in those two rooms that I selected. I've shown a couple of people how to use Dynamo Player and they received it really well because like I said earlier, it's not as intimidating as opening up Dynamo. It also occupies less real estate on your screen. Let me know what you think about uh, Dynamo Player and this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and that's my newest purchase, the 3D printer. Watch out for a video on that.